Oh man, this is hard work. This is so hard work. Toddlers are a nightmare. <laughs> Claire, did you know you was dressed as a bear? Well, actually, I did, but thank you for bringing it to my attention anyway, you guys. It's in support of Oliver, who you can't see, but he's there. Hey, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So, I love that we have all the different series because it means I get to, like, play a little bit differently every time. And in Brindleton Bay, I don't really sometimes get to play at all because the Sims in that series tend to go off and do their own thing. First of all, we had Charlie sneaking off with Jamie Street, even though she was with Asher. Ended up though with Noelle, who I'm very happy about, and she has now cast men aside to focus on herself. Then we had Kira and Anthony, who I was like, these are a sensible, nice couple. Won't do anything crazy. Had woo woos that ended up in Kira getting pregnant and then got married without even asking me. So, these sims are definitely quite cheeky. And also, I've just noticed that Noelle is home alone because everybody else is at the dream house. So, children left home, al home alone cannot be played. That's kind of awkward because there's a baby left home alone as well. So, I'm going to go into Kira and we'll bring everybody back to cats and dogs. And I think in today's episode, it's time to let the little baby grow into a toddler. So, I'm gonna grab my phone, because I asked you guys on Twitter, should I keep the baby's name? She's currently called Carrie Fisher. Obviously, there's a little bit of a play on words and to say, you know, bit of a, a memorial, I guess, to Carrie Fisher from Star Wars. I asked you guys, should I keep her name like that or not on Twitter, and I did it as a poll. So, almost two and a half thousand of you guys voted on whether she keep her as Carrie or not. And it was actually 67%, so almost 70% of you wanted to keep her name as Carrie. So that is what she is going to stay as. She's going to stay as little Carrie. I also kind of like it because it sounds like Callie. It's kind of nice. I think it's pretty nice. And it's 9pm at night and the baby is outside all on her own. Please can you pick up this cute little baby toddler? Bring her inside. Does she need some food? Ollie Bear's just jumped down. Okay, Ollie Bear, I guess that's it. She's super, super tired. Let's bring her inside and put her to bed, Charlie, okay? Read little Noelle to sleep so she can build up a little bit of that reading skill. Anthony, I know you love dancing. I know you're always dancing, but can we do a little bit of help around the house? Maybe we can clear that up. Maybe we can fill this bowl and call Mojo to eat. Kira, I don't think you're getting out of things. In fact, you are post-pregnancy, Kira, right now. So I think you should go and take yourself on a little jog, okay? Oh, nice one, Kira. Just throwing all the rubbish on the floor, too. And then when, when you finish reading this one to sleep, why don't you go on a nice Saturday evening jog? It's quite different from the Saturday evening bar scene that you and Jamie sometimes find yourself doing, but I'm not one to judge, okay? I'm just saying. So here is little Carrie sleeping away. And I think the biggest shock last episode... J Anthony is black. Kira is dark skinned. I would say we kind of say that she's like South Pacific. So no, either way, this baby should 100% have been born with a darker skin tone. Instead, it is as pale as Jamie Street. And I don't really understand what's going on there. Some of you guys said that because she was born as a result of a whiskey woo woo, she is technically an MCC baby. And MCC babies tend to. Oh, oh, the nappy, the nappy, the nappy. Anthony, quick! Change her diaper, feed her, give her loves and cuddles. Don't shoosh her. Give her cuddles and bounces and rocks and silly faces. And all kinds of... Oh, what? What? What on earth just happened? Guys, what just happened? What? <laughs> what on earth was that? What on earth was that? I was just getting him to feed him and then she it just kind of vomited out a little baby who it seems to me is black so i'm very happy about that because that's how genetics work you guys so we need a trait for our new little toddler uh i'm kind of tempted to make her a little wild child i think we should give make her a wild child i can't give her an aspiration yet but there she is Yay! Oh my gosh, she's kind of got Ka uh, Kira's lighter eyes, but with Anthony's hair and skin tone. <gasps> she's awesome! I am still going to go into cast and quickly edit her. I was thinking we'll age her up in a birthday party at the end of this episode. But no, she just zoomed into being a baby, and I love, I love, love, love 
that it's already given her a little doady. And I actually like her little fox hoodie as well. But we need to go and kind of do a little bit of, you know, making her a little bit more realistic. So, you're going to put testing cheats, just in case you guys wonder how I do this. I put testing cheats on. And then I do cast full edit mode. And then when I right hand click on her, I can do modify in cast. I'm still so confused about how that just happened. That was really weird. I know that in the last dream house, I changed the sim life length um, from long to short. So people will age up a little bit quicker. And it means that it's going to be less me controlling when they age up and more allowing them to grow up naturally, which I think is a better way to do it. So here she is, little Carrie Fisher. I am happy for her to keep the same eye color, but I would like to give her slightly more realistic looking eyes. Although, with the eyes I like, the blues and greens are a bit mental. I think it would probably be that colour. I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. I love her skin tone. She's got a lovely colour. Let me just quickly go ahead and have a little bit of look at, like... So, this is Anthony's skin tone. It's kind of got a few soft little freckles. Anthony's so handsome. I really think he's such a handsome guy. Handsome guy! And then, um, uh, Kira's skin tone is also, like, she's not freckly. She's got a little bit of detail around her eyes. Again, gorge, gorge. So I think this one should probably, I'm kind of tempted to give her the same skin details as Anthony, which would be like this. I think that makes her look quite like him. The alternative would be this, which is like toddler skin. Don't worry. I'm not about to go ahead and just give her um, white skin again. We're not going down that road again, but it would be, I guess, uh, I think probably that skin tone is most similar to the one she's got. Or maybe that. Oh, it's kind of tough, isn't it? But they're like my baby skin tones. That one is the same shade, but this one is, this one is more ready. So it's kind of tough to decide between them both. So I guess it's between that skin tone and that skin, oh, that skin tone and that skin tone. That's more Anthony, but that's a lot more realistic. I like this one. I think we stick with this one. I think I'm gonna give her some quite big, beautiful eyelashes. And then I actually love the hair it's given her. I think the hair it's given her is really cute. I'm gonna take this Dodie out just for a second. But I'm kind of noticing that this skin, this skin is giving her like lipstick, which I sort of hate. And I do like that that's more Anthony's. Oh guys, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, I've got this one. That one's nice too. And then I can just give her freckles separately. I think I'm gonna give her that one actually. Sorry, I know I spent ages on this. <laughs> I can't help it. I took off her top just to make sure that this skin didn't actually give her boobs. So I think the hair it's given her is actually absolutely adorable. But I'm still kind of tempted just to try out some of the ones that we downloaded. Because I've got like these ones that I actually think are amazing. Although I don't know how you'd go from baby to that much hair instantly. But still. And then I've got like these kind of ones too. Or this one. Or this one. That's a little bit more boyish, I guess. <laughs> that one's quite cute as well. <gasps> and then I've got this one, which I actually love so much too. But that one you could kind of have for this hair too and just say that that's when it's tied up. Because I do think that that hair is actually adorable. <laughs> it's really long. It is really, really long. But you know, Charlie Rose has long hair too. Is it just a bit long to give a toddler? I don't know. Oh my god, evil eyebrow alert. She's so cute. She is so cute. The other thing I was thinking is, should I give her brown eyes? Because I get that her eyes have technically come from, oh my gosh, no, no, no. <laughs> Blue, um, gray eyes are really cool on her as well. I get that like uh, Kira's eyes are green, even though her skin tone's a little darker, she's always had really bright green eyes. But like, Anthony's got brown eyes. Oh, I bet it's because I never changed his eyes to brown on here, you guys. <gasps> so it will never have genetically passed them to little curry. So do I give her brown or green? Because she was born with this color eye. Sorry, this color. Wait, which color did I give her again? I think it was that, wasn't it? But I reckon if you actually played with Anthony's genetics and if I'd have given him the right color eye, she also would have had brown eyes. So I'm really torn whether to give her this, this, or this. I think that looks more natural, and I think Anthony would have passed on his brown eyes. Like, the chances of a baby with a brown-eyed parent getting a blue eyes are a lot lower than 
getting the brown eyes. And I think she looks really cute with brown eyes. I'm gonna keep her eyes for brown for now. But I want your guys' feedback, okay? Am I doing the right thing by genetically doing what, what would actually happen? Or should I have stuck to her original eye colour? Let me know in the comments below. Although I do like that a lot. Oh, it's really tough. Okay, I'm gonna give her a Dodie back. Just because I think it's really cute. We'll have to match it to her outfit, I guess. So what little outfit shall we give her? I've got these cute new little, like, jackets, which I think are really sweet. Maybe a little bit grown up for her, though. I don't know. Really cute, though. Then I've also got these little cute dresses. I don't really know where they've come from, but they're cute. That one's cute. Oh, that's really cute, you guys. Oh, she's such a little sweetie pie. I like that polka dot one. I think that is actually adorable. And it matches her dodie. And then I got these little tights with like the little animals on top. So look, she's got like little cats on her knees. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. She's actually so, so cute. How do my toddlers keep getting even cuter than the toddlers that came before them? It's like some sort of never ending toddlers becoming cuter and cuter and cuter. I don't know how they're doing it, but like literally just look at her. She's so adorable. She's so adorable. Oh my gosh, jumping around like a little baby. Okay, I've got a really cute little formal outfit for her as well. Oh, guys, she's making me die of cuteness! Oh my god, I actually love her. I actually love her. I think for a formal, I'm gonna sweep her hair back behind her like this. So, so cute! And then her bed. For bed, I might give her a little fox back because she liked that. She was like born in that. So I think it's nice to go back to it. And then for bed as well, I might like tie her hair up in this style. So like she's tied it up for bed. Because I think you would. You tie it up. And then she needs a little party dress too. Oh, she's making me want to actually just ball my eyes out. Okay, and I've got a smart little dress for her. But when she's in a party mood. So this is baby Carrie, you guys. I... I'm putting it out there. I think she's the cutest toddler we've ever had. I do. I think toddlers get cuter every time. But Curry is special. She was an accidental baby. But I'm so glad she exists. I'm literally so glad she exists. Because look how cute she is. And I like that she is quite a mini Anthony, you guys. I like that a lot. Oh my god, look at her little knees with the little cats on them. Oh. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry if I continue. I love her. I actually love her. I'm gonna go ahead and save this household to the gallery. Um, I'm gonna save it to my library and then I'm gonna upload it for you. Oh, I won't do it yet because if I do it now, you'll see her before I put the episode live. I will upload them at some point, you guys. Don't worry. Look at them two holding their cute babies. Okay, so because I changed things to uh, the, the life cycle to short, it says Noelle is gonna age up today. Which I actually don't like because I think that's too soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to long. It's annoying because I don't like it the way that it is. I, I wish there was like somewhere in between. There was a way- Oh, she's gonna be stuck there now though, isn't she? There was a way on Sims 3 where you could decide how long each cycle of life lasted. And I really wish it was like that again because it really bugs me the way it is now. Especially because I want Noelle and Carrie to spend a little bit of time together. <gasps> Carrie, who's playing with little Mojo. Mojo's following her around like, who is this new little cutie fight? She is so cute. She's literally so, so cute. Ah! <gasps> However, she needs a bed and she needs to get into it. Oh, we are so poor, but yet again, we've got to spend money buying furniture. Have I got anything in the household inventory to sell? Oh, yes, I do. I've got stuff from dates and whatnot. Stuff from the vets and stuff too. Okay, I'm just gonna have to sell all of this. Okay, that is good. That's given us a little bit of money so we can at least get some kid stuff. So I'm just gonna get, I, want, I just want them to have different toddler beds. Um, oh no, there's a nicer one. Racer toddler bed. I might get this cool race one. Oh, wait, I've got this little toddler bed for her instead. Oh, I like that one more. That's from the Savinka Aldwine collection. It's actually the same one that Connor had. So she's got like a little toddler. We need that lamp down there, don't we? It's a little bit dark right now. Nice little light for the side of a bed. Oh, it's kind of going through the wall a little bit. Maybe I just put it here instead. Little ladybird rug for her little area too. 
They have to like squish the kids into their bedrooms because <laughs> they've got no money. And then finally, I'm going to have to go ahead and pop another one of these chairs into the inventory. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and pop this one here. So that's little Noelle's. And then we need to get a new one for this little Puka Rooney, don't we? I think she gets this little bunny rabbit ones. They've got like little matching ones. And I don't see why they can't share one potty. They're not gonna be going at the same time, are they? So there we go. There's like a cute little sort of kids room section of their bedroom now, which is also very bare bones, isn't it? But hey, at least they're getting, at least there's some stuff going on. And then Kira, why don't you go ahead and read Carrie to sleep? And then everybody just needs to get to sleep, okay? Oh, I can't have the pillows there. That's annoying. <laughs> What's wrong now? Why can't you read it to sleep? I don't understand. I might have to put the other bed there instead. Ah! Oh, we can't do it with that bed either. Okay, now we can do it. So the bed's gonna have to go there, which is not really where I wanted it. I think it looked a lot cuter before, but... There's no way I can't have them reading them to sleep. I think it's so cute when that happens, so... It's just the way it's gonna have to be, you guys! And there is Whoa. Anthony reading his little girl to sleep. I love how much you can tell that they're father and daughter. It's so good! It's literally so cute, and look at her. Oh my gosh. She's so gorgeous! What are you reading to her about? Oh, dinosaurs! That's cool! She's like, yeah, this is way too interesting. I ain't going to sleep. I'm going to giggle. Oh, okay. She's gone. And oh my gosh, look, they're both asleep. And Mojo's like snuggled into the uh, to the pillows with them. So all four of them sleeping in there. So it's a Sunday. This little one does not have work today. But I know for a fact that Noelle is very hungry in bed. <laughs> She'll probably be sleeping with her vexed little face because she is hungry. I really want those guys to like play all day today. I think it'll be really cute. So Charlie, why don't you go ahead and give Noelle her little food in here. Give her her little cereal. And then Kira, why don't you give little curry her food a little cereal in this one and hopefully they're gonna eat at the same time anthony has work in two hours and i think i'm actually gonna join anthony to work today because the only way i can get him is a promotion is that i need to take him to a crime scene and i need to take him on patrol so i'm gonna have to do that oh the babies don't want to be woken yet why don't you two girlies then go ahead and take yourself for a little jog? How about that? I like these two as like the little jogging team together. And then Anthony, why don't you serve up some breakfast for everybody? Oh, you have work in an hour. You're not serving up any breakfast. You need to eat the leftovers and then go grab, have a little wee before you head out. Noelle's woken up and she's really hungry, just as we thought she was going to be. Charlie, I think you're going to have to cut your run short. Oh no, the cereal is there. Mojo is singing his heart out because he wants the food. I think instead you're going to have to put Noelle in this one and Carrie in this one before you head to work, I'm afraid. <laughs> babies come first. And then we're going to join him for work. I do not think the babies managed to go into their high chairs before work there, but never mind. Okay, so we are joining Anthony at work because he needs to get these promotion tasks. The first thing he needs to do is head over here. Come and sit down in this chair. I'm getting him to sit ASAP because... People steal the computers here really fast. And then you need to go and get yourself a case assignment. Oh my gosh, this PC is actually broken. Wow. So we've got our little, uh, it's our boss in the cubicle at the end there. She's got really cool police gear. I want police gear like hers. Here's some like good policey, policey men's on the wall. And Anthony's here to get his case assignment. So we can hopefully go to a crime scene or go on patrol. We need to do both of them to get promoted. And this guy is trying to repair the PC by himself. I'm hoping we don't see somebody die here. So go ahead and start yourself a little case map, Anthony. I think he's got to like pin things on here. That broken PC is really annoying. And what now? Now he's got to travel to the crime scene. So let's go ahead and let's travel our little butts to the crime scene, Anthony. No plane, only PC, okay? Okay, so we are on a crime scene, which is great because it's given him one of his promotion tasks. However, I always find- Oh, yay! We've actually got clues this time. Okay, let's- Oh, we should do picture first and then collect the evidence, shouldn't we? So collect the evidence and then- No, wait, wait, wait. Take a picture, then collect the evidence. There we go. And the same here. Take a picture and then collect the evidence. It looks like someone's just tagged graffiti everywhere, which is kind of weird. And then we need to speak to a witness. Oh, it's that lady we see everywhere nowadays. 
And some more police officers as well. This guy kind of looks a bit like Thor with his long hair, doesn't he? Okay, so now we just need to get a witness report. I might get... Oh, no, I can't get one from her. I can only get one from this one anyway. We've got our witness report. So now we need to go back to the... Oh, it wants me to get another report. Let's do one more and then I'll head back to the police station. Like, it's got four police people here. That's a bit insane. Okay, there's one more witness upstairs that we can get a report from. What is that? I've never seen that in my life. Blick block. What? Is that like a done? Uh, oh my gosh, Max is here. Max is one of the witnesses. We noticed that Max is always at the scene of the crime. Maybe he's not quite left his life behind, you know? Head back to the police station, please. I mean, that's a little bit too much of a coincidence, isn't it? That he's been at like two crime scenes now. Both the ones Anthony's been on. I think maybe Max has still got a little cheekiness to him. I like the idea though that Max is, is never fully good, you guys. He's still got like a little secret side to him. Okay, we need to cross-reference. Is there a free PC? Why is it never a free PC? Cross-reference the police database, okay? And we also need to analyze some evidence. And then after that, he can go on patrol, which will mean he will do both of the things that he needs to do to get a promotion. Oh, he's doing so good, you guys. He's such a clever little cop. He needs to add your clues over here as well. Okay, he's added his clues. Um, He's got some more clues to add. You need to add some more. He's doing a little bit more cross-referencing and then we'll go on a uh, report. Uh, report patrol. Oh my gosh, so many things to be cross-referenced. Anthony has enough clues to issue an APB on the crime map. <gasps> Will it let me do that? It's keeping making me cross-reference all of this stuff and keep making me analyze evidence. What I really want to do is just go out and patrol, quick! I've already got an hour left of work! And I'm noticing that the babies are sad and angry, so they're not being taken very good care of. I'm gonna get into stay late at work. And then, can I issue an APB yet, please? Yes! Issue an APB and then go on patrol, Anthony! Yes! We've got this! He is so much better at being a cop than James ever was, I'm afraid. Okay, all points bulletin. Ask around, see if anyone can point you in the way and look at your notebook. Okay. I'm gonna pause the game because we don't have that long. The suspect is male. How, how do I see my notebook again? Is it over here? Oh my gosh, I've totally forgotten how to look at notebook. Open notebook. Okay, black hair, slacks, insane, wearing a jacket, young adult male. So let's look for a black haired young adult male. Oh, hey, Jesse. Um, nobody's here yet that I can see. It's quite a big area to cover though. I like being a cop, you guys. It's real fun. Okay, let's see if Jesse can point us in the right way. How are you not introduced to Jesse? What are you doing? Wait, why doesn't he think he's at work? Did I not go on patrol quick enough? <gasps> guys, I don't actually think I went on patrol quick enough. No! Ah, we're gonna have to go back out on patrol in a few days time and do it that way instead Still, I think he did a really good job at work today. It usually tells us though, doesn't it? Oh, well, I've sent him home <laughs> I think it kind of glitched out a little bit there. The careers I find are a little bit glitchy. Okay She's sad because she's smelly and she needs fun and she is tired well, good job, girls. You've really done great looking after these guys today. Ki Kira, why don't you read Carrie to sleep? And then Charlie Rose, you're gonna have to change her, like, diaper and, like, make her less gross. Oh, my gosh. The babies are stink because I don't have a bath. I think I'm gonna have to buy them a bath. Uh, okay. They need, like, a little bubbly bath. Oh, we can afford these ones, just. This one's really nice, actually. Okay, they now have a bath. I'm hoping they're gonna be able to use it. It's a bit squishy with the toilet, isn't it? But I can't, it's such a tiny room. Let's see if she can use it. Give little Noelle a bubble bath, okay? She's stinky. Okay, it's looking good. Can she use it? Yay, we can bath our babies, which really shouldn't be, there's not much light in this room, by the way. Really shouldn't be that much of a big deal, but it's taken us this long just to afford a bath, you guys. Literally just to afford one. Oh my gosh, we've got $28 in the whole world. And the kids must never have been fed because I'm literally looking at their cereals still on there after all this time. Can we please feed the children for God's sake? There you go. Okay, no, stop taking them out. Put the child back in there and then just leave them there. And then why don't you girls just come and sit here and just don't be annoyed, okay? They still don't have a TV. Oh my gosh. There you go. Now these guys can have their little cereals. Eat this. And you eat this. 
And they can stare at the cat as well. Oh, look at that. Charlie, um, Noel, I almost called her Charlie Rose, is using a nice spoon. Was she just grabbing fistfuls of it? No, use your spoon, okay? You are, s oh, she looks so mad. <gasps> no, stop that. Be a civilized child, okay? Don't do that. I'm worried that they're gonna take them out, so I'm sending them jogging. <laughs> I don't want them to take them out while they're doing nice eats together. Go jogging. Go. Be gone. Be gone. Anthony can keep an eye on them, okay? He can look after them. You have to trust him. He looked after her a lot when she was a little baby, okay? Oh my gosh, what's this one doing now? Is she... What is she doing? Is she asleep? For God's sake. Anthony, go put her to bed. In fact, why don't you go put both of them to bed? It's far too late for toddlers to be up. I forgot how hard it is looking after two toddlers. I've not done this since like emma and emily and it's hard it's really hard especially when the sims don't listen to you okay one is in bed and the next one please oh he's got the loved thing from putting it tucking in a toddler that's really cute oh oh my gosh jay has invited her out again shall i go this is the second time the second time that jay has invited charlie rose out I now wonder if at all like the calorie aching gatherings where the J was like secretly checking out Charlie Rose. I don't know you guys, I don't know. It's a dance party. I guess you can say hello to him. Ask him how his day was. Glad we got the chance to catch up, see you next time. I mean, I just got here. What are you even talking about? Look at their relationship. The thing is, there's absolutely no romance there at all. They're just really good friends. And oh my gosh, look who just walked by. <gasps> they must be like, look at each other like, did you just see what I just saw? Is that your ex-boyfriend and our niece? What is even going on there? And now Lilith's heading in as well. I want to see what's going on inside this club. Let's let's head on inside. Oh, wow. Okay. The music's not really, like, hype enough for me. I don't know. This is such a weird, weird group of people, you guys. Is that Jesse as well? Oh, my gosh. All of Jay's exes in one room. What is going on? <laughs> I know Jesse wasn't his ex, technically, but, you know, there was still something there between them. All this time when, like, Jamie Street is the bad guy. I would just like to put out that Jay has probably flirted with the most girls, including Sinclair. I don't know what Emma's gonna make of all this. I don't know what she's gonna make of it all. Where even is she? She's saying hi to him? Did she just blow him a kiss? I hate that I can't control them when I'm not here with them. I don't know if she was blowing him a kiss though because he's not reacted at all. Maybe she was saying hello to Jesse. I don't even know. I don't even know what is going on right now. It seems to be like some sort of big sister night out. Because these guys are hanging out chit-chatting. Emily's there as well. I think Emily's chatting away with Charlie Rose. Who I was actually thinking, you know. I think Emily and Charlie Rose would get on really well. Oh, look, they've just become good friends. Emily's obviously into the whole fashion scene. And Charlie Rose wants to become a makeup artist. So I think these two will have a lot of time for each other. I'm kind of hoping that they'll do some like little fashion chit-chats together. Hats! A hats fashion? The kind of fashion? I don't know. So weirdly enough, even though she got invited by Jay, it just turned into a really good time for like Charlie Rose to like hang out with her fums. Which I kind of like. I think that's actually quite cool. I like how Lilith's dancing is like so serious and like crazy looking. And it's like 4am Charlie. I love that you're like living this new single life and you're just going out and having fun with the girly whirlies. But I do think you probably need to go home now, okay? You know what we could do with Jay? It's kind of cheeky, but we could ask him for a loan. Because <laughs> they're like really good friends. So I think she actually would get one from him. And we kind of need the money, you guys. <gasps> he did it. Try and pay it back when you can. He gave us 500 pounds. Yay. Oh my gosh. But now Jay is in a flirty mood. There's no romance between them still. Though. I'm keeping an eye. It's all just chit chats. And she actually like wants to chat with Emily more. But Jay is in a flirty mood, you guys. So we're going to have to be careful. Look at his face. What are you doing, Jay? What are you doing? Oh, he's heading home. Everybody is heading home, you guys. Oh my god. Claire just became good friends with Charlie Rose. This is why their spirits need to move on, you guys. Because they're coming out clubbing with us. Claire, the ghost, has come out clubbing. If that's not a sign to go home, I don't know what is. Head your butt home. She's so happy, you guys. She's so happy. 
I'm so glad that she's like got her head back screwed on, you know? Like she ta she's taken the steps in her life that she needed to to become a happy sim again and to get her life back on track. I think she's done a really good job. Although I think she's got to get up for work for tomorrow. So good luck with that, Charlie. <gasps> work for Charlie Rose starts in about an hour. This, this day is going to be rough, Charlie. I'm just going to warn you right now. You're very hungry. You need the toilet. Your energy isn't terrible, but it's not going to last you the whole day. Try and get as much done as you possibly can. Leave the kids to, to these guys, okay? Oh, look at that. Kira already knew. She already knew to get little, uh, little cute Carrie who's still eating with her hands, you guys. She's still eating. I don't know if it's because she's like a young toddler, but she is still eating with her hands. And then Anthony is off to go and get this little bun bun. Let's give her some cereal as well, please. And then, you know what? It shouldn't be just the girls that go jogging. I think Anthony deserves a good jog as well. So off you go. Charlie, you're late for work. You're gonna have to go. Kira, you stay behind and look after all the babies, okay? Maybe do some potty training with Carrie. Oh, she wants to get out. It's too hard. Charlie, look after two. And then potty train Noelle. <laughs> it never ends. Why don't you spend some time with the cute little cat? Stop being angry. Spend some time with Mojo, okay? Give him some pets and some loves. <gasps> and now she's wrecking the floor. Give her a talking to Anthony, okay? Oh man, this is hard work. This is so hard work. Toddlers are a nightmare. And we've got a cart to try and look after as well. And one of them's managed to pee all over the floor. And now Jay's calling her at work. Saying, I heard you became friends with Candy. She's pretty cool. Jay is so into Charlie Rose. It's actually untrue. A little bit weird when you imagine that they were teenagers when they first met, but I guess it's not that weird. Okay, so even though Anthony's tired, he's trying to teach this angry little butt butt to speak. Maybe if she can speak, she'll be less angry. And Kira's doing a little bit of clearing up, but I've got a feeling Noelle is going to be naughty if you leave her for long enough. So you're going to have to do some, some teaching of her as well, I think. Because none of them can talk. So you're going to have to teach that one to talk. Oh! <gasps> She's very angry now. She needs some fun. I think I need to buy them some toys downstairs. I can do it with Jay's money though, so that's fine. Let's get a little Mr. Blue Bear and let's get them some blocks. And is there a tiny, a tiny dollhouse? Maybe this little dollhouse. Actually, we'll pop that in the corner. They've at least got some stuff to do downstairs. That house, which was meant to slowly become stylish, is instead slowly being filled with kids stuff. She needs to reach level four of the handiness skill, does Charlie Rose, by the way, for her style consultant. She's nowhere near that, so she needs to start being the one who repairs everything. <gasps> Look at these two, yay! I hope that would happen. I don't know why um, Carrie's in a nappy all the time, but can I peek through one of the windows of this dollhouse to show you guys? Look. Look at them both playing with it together. She's still really mad, but still, how cute is that? Playing with their little dollhouse together. Like little cutie beans. Look at her cuddling it. Oh my gosh, how cute are the toys as well? They kind of look a little bit like, I don't know, like zelda -y. Okay, so Anthony's giving the cat a little bit of attention, but honestly, they're not going to be entertained for much longer before they're going to need feeding, okay? So let's get them in here and get them some ham and cheese sandwiches ASAPs. Charlie's come home and she's absolutely shattered. I'm not surprised, Charlie, because you spent the whole night dancing. Oh, the scratches on a bed everywhere. Oh, oh my gosh. And to fix them, to fix the scratches that Mojo's done, it's 375 pounds. So I don't think so. Oh, and she's off to bed because she's tired. Even though she's got a little ham sandwich down here not being eaten. Oh, I've got a feeling this ham sandwich is going to get thrown. You good girl. Daddy's come to sit next to you and keep you company. He's like, toddlers and not fun. She's like, damn right we're not. We are here to make your life hell. I am squishing my sandwich to little bits. And it's really fun. And I'm really cute. No, don't do it. Good girl. Eating your sandwich. Oh no. Don't. I knew she was gonna do it. I knew she was gonna do it. Why do you have to be so naughty? Is it because you're a wild child? She's tired and she's gringy. You know what? Just put her to bed. Just literally put her to bed if she's gonna be that naughty. You can read her to bed, but just get her to bed, okay? I know you're in a flirty mood, but there's not that much time for fun. Look how far she got the sandwich. <laughs> there's not that much time for that kind of fun when you've got toddlers. It's just gonna make things hard. And I didn't get the chance to go to the vets today because I was too busy looking after the babies. Roxy is called. 
definitely give her a chart because toddlers are really hard. And in fact, if Jesse and Roxy can come around tomorrow and help, that would be great. And James is like, do you want to come out for some dinner? But she, she, oh, I pressed okay, but she's so tired. She's so tired. Dad, can't you come back instead and cook for me? Oh, she is all dressed up for it though. Fine, why don't you go and have a, just a quick drink with your dad and just sort of moan <laughs> about the fact that you've got a toddler. It's really hard. Life is tough. There's no man on the scene because I'm working on myself, but that doesn't mean I don't get lonely, dad, okay? You have Salma, you don't understand. You don't understand. Yeah. There's also a mod that I've forgotten to download, but it means that if someone invites you out, they pay, which obviously is not gonna happen right now because I don't have the mod. So I'm just gonna get them like super cheap things to eat. <laughs> a breadstick and some olives and then the cheapest wine. $26 meal, guys. It's not bad. And it means she gets to spend some time with dad, who is amazing. Ask him about his day. Good old dad. <gasps> Ask for a large loan. She can do it because she's quite charismatic. This could be helpful. I was hoping she could ask him about handiness as well, because then he'd be able to give her some tips, but she doesn't have the option. Imagine her now. She must be so tired. Probably a little bit hungover from last night. But she's got to lay there and try and make conversation with dad. Who can't know that everybody was out partying last night and him and Salma were not invited. They were not invited. Oh, here you go, Chivers. Try and pay it back when you can. Dad just gave us two grand. You never need to pay back your parents either, especially not when they're pro football players. I don't know what just happened. But apparently they don't need to pay for the table. It kind of just like they just sort of reset. And I think I think that's kind of that's amazing. She got free food. Well, at least dad has put her in a really good mood, even if she still is really tired and she needs a wee and she's really hungry. Dad is always going to be there. Ah, so cute. But now you need to head home and get to bed and look after your children, OK? I think a little, a little call from dad was what she needed, really. But I feel like Kira and Anthony are struggling a little bit more at the moment because look at these two angry, angry little toddlers. Oh, my gosh. You get home and it's just like a nightmare. Both the kids are starving. The cat's playing in the trash, making things even worse. It also still has antlers on. And these guys are like, look at their faces. <gasps> look at them. They're like, I hate this so much. I hate having children. It's so hard. She's in bed naked. For what reason? I don't know. But she needs to go in her high chair. And... <laughs> <laughs> I love how Kira's like, I can't even be bothered to clothe you. If you're gonna run around naked, you're gonna stay naked. Okay, she's got her little pampers on now at least. The cat's begging for food. It is literally hell on earth. It's hell on earth. <gasps> and she's throwing her food on the floor again. She's throwing her food on the floor again. In fact, I think both of them have. Why are they doing that if they're hungry? I don't understand. Oh, it's so hard. Oh my gosh, I asked Charlie to put her to sleep and instead she's just collapsed on the floor. Jesus Christ. Everybody needs bathing. Give Carrie a bath, okay? Oh my God, she literally gave up on trying to do anything with the toddler and just went to bed. So now the toddler's having to climb, little Noelle is having to climb upstairs and go to bed on her own. At least she's going to bed. This one's just in there being really angry. No matter who I tell to bathe her, nobody dares because she's so scary right now. Oh my God. It's nearly 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm still trying to get stuff done. She's finally eaten, but now she's just asleep there. Can we just put her to bed and then can everyone just get to sleep? It's so stressful. Don't have kids. <laughs> That's too much work. Oh, he just left her there. What on earth? What on earth? Charlie Rose is putting her to bed instead. I wanted her to actually like practice her handiness skill today too. Okay, so at least Charlie is off to work in a reasonably good mood. So I've got one thing done. At least she's working hard as well. I wish there was an option for her to um, practice her handiness. And I can't like buy a book or anything because, oh, we can buy a TV now actually. We can finally buy a TV, you guys. It's not gonna be a very nice one. <laughs> But it's a TV. Oh, can't I? I want a wall mounted TV. Can I not mount this on the wall? I might have to sell the unit. If I sell the unit, then I can afford this little sculpture. And I still can't get the TV as well. I want the TV. But I have to put it on a table. Oh no, this one could be wall mounted. Yay, they finally get a TV. I'm gonna have to line it up with a coffee table, aren't I? Oh, guys, they finally, 
finally have a TV. This is a miracle. It's taken us so long to get to this point. We only have $75 in the world, but we have a TV. Anthony, I hate to shock you, but since you don't have work today, you're staying at home. Enjoy. And then Kira, you're gonna go open the vets and you're gonna work today. The vets should have been open yesterday, but it did not happen. So you're doing it today instead. And you're gonna train up that other vet so that she can hold down the fort while we're away. She's gonna give us some nice praises and whatnot. And then we need to pay for her training as well. <gasps> and the restaurant just realized that we didn't pay. Oops. Okay, time for another day of vetting, you guys. Let's hope it works last time because it didn't work when we were here before when we were pregnant. Maybe it's gonna work now we're not pregnant. And Jessie's here. Oh my gosh, that's Frankie? What? Frankie is blue, you guys. It looks nothing like Frankie Bobs. Oh, look at poor Frankie and he's so stressed. Let's take his temperature because he looks very icy. <gasps> look, everything seems to be going right. They're both going to their respective rooms, which is great. Hooray! And we, well, did we get paid job. for it this time? Is she going to build the owner? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's working again. She actually built the owner, which is great. And oh, look, it's Bran. Who, who was it tried to flirt with? Lilith's, uh, Lilith's friend tried to flirt with, even though he's married to a guy. So that was clearly never going to work, but he still tried it. Frankie's back to normal, you guys, which is great. Boom, another one done. We're doing a good job, you guys. Why is she in here? You don't, you, can you go and look after your person, please? There you go. All out looking perfect. And another patient build. We're doing good today, you guys. Even though I can tell Carrie's at home being mad. Noelle's at home being sad. <gasps> another slurry fur, which means another surgery, you guys. Quite surgerific today. Okay, the last patient of the day, little Vixie, is cured. Apparently this one is not impressed with her job and she wants to get a promotion. The thing is, she's rubbish and she makes me really angry, but... She's all we've got, so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and do it. And pay for a little bit more training for her as well. There we go, she's had a little promotion. Now we just need to clean up. Emma's really not happy with the service. I don't know why she's still here. And then go ahead and close the vets, you guys. Just good, because we did make a profit today, but it's really tough. It's so tough. She's unsatisfied with her job. I'm unsatisfied with her face. Oh gosh. Now she's home, miserable as sin, and guess what? There's babies to look after! Life never- and that one's naked again! Why are you always naked? I think it's because she's a wild child. It means that she likes to, like, strip down all the time. Which just makes her even more stressful. But hey, at least little, um, Noelle has a little friend to play with as they stumble around the room together. And these guys- these guys have got their job cut out, both with their actual jobs, and try to raise two little toddlers. So guys, that is it for today. Let me know what you think about little Carrie's appearance and whether we, I think, I think we are gonna keep her name, but please let me know what you think about that as well. She is a little wild child, you guys. She is definitely a little naughty one, but hopefully you guys like her and you like this episode as well. If you did give a little cheeky thumbs up, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another episode of Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.